Welcome to the Signal RGB effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a deeper look at effect customization in Signal RGB. I'm also going to go over some commonly asked questions. Before watching this tutorial, it's recommended that you watch the Signal RGB quick start guide, the components tutorial, and the layouts tutorial first. The home screen is where you can see all the different effect categories. Featured effects are at the very top. This is where we usually showcase new integrations and effects. We make them free for a week to give everyone a chance to try them out. The free section is where you can find all of the effects that are free to use. You can press more to view the entire library of free effects which are categorized by type. The free effects of the week are displayed at the top. Then there's the free to use audio visualizers. The section labeled RGB effects is all of the free effects made by the Signal RGB team. And finally, the community section is where you'll find all of the effects created by the community. By supporting our development with a pro subscription, you'll get access to everything in the pro section, which includes game integrations. You can press more to view the entire library of pro content, which is also categorized by type. At the very bottom of the home screen is the new and updated section, which as the name implies is where you'll find all the new effects or effects that have been updated recently. You can also quickly access each of these categories on the left side under library. To search for effects, you can use the search bar at the top. Just type what you want and hit enter. You'll see all the different effects that match your search. To install an effect, hover over it and click the install button. Then you can press apply to load the effect. You can see the effects you have installed by going over to the install tab. If you hover over an effect and you see this button, that means that an update is available. You can press the button to update the effect. You can quickly update all of your effects by going into settings at the bottom left corner of the application. Then click on the updates tab. Now you can press update all and everything gets updated automatically. Our effects are designed with default settings that make sense for each theme. So if you're the type of person that prefers minimal tinkering, then you can load any theme that catches your eye and it's going to have a well thought out color scheme and settings. For example, the calm water effect by default has a blue color scheme and a slow calm speed to match the theme. However, if you like customization, Signal RGB is one of the only applications that makes it super easy to customize existing themes. To adjust colors and other settings, you can press Customize under My Effects. This is where you can make changes to your effects using the settings available on the right side. You can also quickly select a different effect by clicking here, which will open a menu of all the effects you have installed. Signal RGB has two types of color pickers. The Quick Select color picker looks like this. All you need to do is click and drag this dot to the desired color. The saturation slider controls the intensity of the color, so the lower the saturation, the closer the color is to gray. The luminance slider controls the brightness of the color, so moving it to the right gets you closer to white, and moving it to the left gets you closer to black. You can also enter a custom color code in this box. If you click on the wrench icon right here, it's going to bring up an advanced color picker that lets you fine tune your colors. Many effects also have color modes. It's usually a drop down menu with an option for single color, rainbow, or random color mode. Some effects like Ethereal Dream have a drop down menu with different color palettes. Every effect usually has the same standard settings such as color and speed. Certain effects have unique options that are specific to the effect. For example, the rainstorm effect has sliders for controlling thunder frequency and the width of the lightning bolts. It also includes toggles to enable and disable various parts of the effect. After you've made changes to an effect, you can save it as a preset by clicking and holding any of the buttons labeled A, B, and C, until you see a message that says Effect Preset Saved at the bottom of the application. You can store up to three presets, one on each button, and you can load presets by clicking on the buttons once. If you want to revert an effect to the default settings, click and hold this reset button until you see a message that says Effect Reverted to Defaults. Now let's take a look at the rule that's right here. Right now it's set to always show whatever the current effect is. You can click the arrow to switch the rule. Now it says at idle, show rainbow. And when media is playing, show screen ambience. Idle basically means you don't have any audio playing on your computer. And when you do have audio playing, it's gonna switch the effect to screen ambience. You can set this up however you want. For example, I'll set the idle effect to rainstorm. And when media is playing, it's gonna show the audio spectrum effect.
Now with all of this covered, let's take a look at some commonly asked questions. How do I set everything to one color? Search for the solid color effect. It lets you do exactly that. You can also toggle breathing and adjust the speed. How do I get the basic rainbow effects? Search for the rainbow effect. By default, it's doing a solid color cycle. If you switch the type to classic, then you'll get a rainbow wave effect. You can also adjust the speed or make it vertical. Another rainbow effect you might look for is the spiral rainbow effect. You can customize the X and Y position, the speed, or reverse the direction. If you want something unique, I suggest checking out the rainbow rise effect. Just like spiral rainbow, you can customize the X and Y position, the speed, or reverse the direction. You can also adjust the scale which can drastically change the effect. How do I create a wave or spiral with custom colors? Search for gradient wave. You can select the number of colors you want to use with this slider, and then select the colors you want on each color picker. You can also use the custom wave effect. This is just like the gradient wave, except the colors don't blend together, if that's a look that you prefer instead. To create your own spiral, load up the custom spiral effect. Once again, you can set the number of colors you want to use, and change each color picker. If you want something unique, take a look at the custom sunrise effect. It's like the rainbow rise effect I showed earlier, but you can set your own colors. Are there any subtle effects? Technically, any effect in Signal RGB can be subtle by adjusting the speed or changing up the colors to something you feel is easier on the eyes. You can even set the speed slider to zero on any effect, which is going to turn it into a static effect. However, I'll give you some recommendations for effects I think are more subtle by default. Watercolor is one of my all-time favorite effects that slowly blends colors around and it's great for when I'm just trying to focus on my work. The beach effect is a super chill effect that simulates a wave moving up and down the sand. Falling Stars has default colors and movement that's easy on the eyes. This covers everything you'll need to know about effects in Signal RGB. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more helpful videos.